Step into the time machine of nostalgia, where television screens flickered with a certain magic that captured our hearts. Cast your mind back to that serendipitous moment when the world first welcomed the 1976 TV series Alice into living rooms, and a certain waitress named Alice Hyatt sauntered into our lives with her dreams held high, and her apron strings pulled tight. Ah, the echoes of that laughter and camaraderie, how they painted indelible strokes of joy onto our memories. Can you remember the twinkle in your eyes as you first glimpsed the bustling chaos of Mel's diner? The way the clinking of dishes and sizzling of burgers formed an unspoken symphony of comfort. Perhaps it was the quick-witted sparring of Vera and Flo that left you grinning. Or maybe it was the rugged charm of Mel Sharples himself. And oh, who could forget the poignant moments that tugged at your heartstrings as Alice navigated the crossroads of life with her son, Tommy, in tow. But let us not dwell solely in the realm of memory, for there are hidden gems about the show that even the most ardent fans might not know. So, fasten your seatbelts as we journey into the world of Alice. Did you know that the show was actually based on a Martin Scorsese film? Or that the catchphrase, Kiss My Grits, was an improvisation that became iconic? These fascinating tidbits peel back the layers of this beloved series, reminding us that every show has its own tale behind the scenes. So, dear reader, as we immerse ourselves in these intriguing insights, let us relive the magic of Alice and carry its essence forward in our hearts. The show might have ended, but its spirit continues to resonate, inviting us to reflect on our own journey since that first encounter with the show. How have we grown? What dreams have we pursued? The answers might surprise us, much like the warmth and wit of Alice did all those years ago. And now, without further ado, let's journey together into the heartwarming world of Alice, unearthing some delightful facts along the way. Buckle up for a ride down memory lane and a detour into the unknown stories that shaped the show. Get ready to rediscover the laughter, tears, and timeless camaraderie that made Alice a treasured part of television history. Ellen Burstyn's Oscar triumph ignited a new wave of women-centric productions in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. A seismic shift was set in motion by a little film that could. Ellen Burstyn, fresh from her spellbinding success in The Exorcist, found herself at the forefront of a groundbreaking narrative in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. The film's triumphant culmination was Burstyn's well-deserved Oscar win, catapulting her into the pantheon of revered talents. Yet, this was merely the genesis. Burstyn's portrayal of Alice, a resilient widow navigating life's unpredictable journey, resonated deeply. The movie's triumph gave rise to a wave of empowerment, spurring an array of women-centric films and television shows. Enter the 1976 TV series Alice, an embodiment of that burgeoning empowerment movement. Burstyn's victory laid the foundation, creating a fertile ground for narratives championing women's strength, independence, and grit. While Alice stood at the heart of the tale, Vera, portrayed by Beth Howland, was an enduring linchpin. From the inaugural episode to the series finale, Vera's unwavering presence threaded the show's fabric. In a tumultuous sea of changing faces, Vera remained the constant, endearing herself to viewers with her unique charm and idiosyncrasies. Howland's portrayal turned Vera into more than a character. She became a touchstone, a symbol of familiarity and comfort amid life's turbulent currents. Subdued shadows of Alice's past, the contours of Alice's past held shadows darker than the fluorescent lights of Mel's diner. Burstyn's portrayal of Alice in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore delved into a harrowing history of domestic abuse. The film painted a visceral image of Alice's husband as violent and oppressive. Curiously, when the story was transposed to the small screen, a pivotal choice was made. References to Alice's husband's abusive nature were tactfully excised, fearing it would estrange audiences and dilute the series' relatable essence. As the curtain fell on the Alice series, it left a legacy stitched with the resilience of Ellen Burstyn's Oscar triumph, the enduring presence of Vera, and the nuanced evolution of Alice's story. Burstyn's win was more than an accolade, it was a rallying cry for change, a spark igniting a new era of women-centric narratives. Vera's unwavering companionship echoed through the years, and the delicate handling of Alice's past infused depth without alienation. 
In the end, Alice was more than a show. It was a testament to the power of storytelling, etching its mark on the ever-evolving tapestry of Linda television Lavin's history. Linda stellar turn and Golden Globe triumph in Alice in the annals of television history. Few performances have left as indelible a mark as Linda Lavin's portrayal of the titular character in the 1976 TV series Alice. With her impeccable timing, charismatic presence, and undeniable talent, Lavin's depiction of a down-to-earth, aspiring singer, waitress resonated deeply with audiences across the nation. Lavin's dedication and artistry did not go unnoticed, as she clinched a prestigious Golden Globe Award for her remarkable performance. The award not only cemented Lavin's status as a powerhouse talent, but also affirmed the show's impact on the cultural zeitgeist of the era. Central to the show's charm was the iconic character Flo, portrayed by Polly Holiday. A memorable catchphrase, Kiss My Grits, became synonymous with Flo, encapsulating her brassy and unapologetic demeanor. While Lavin's Alice served as the heart of the series, Flo injected it with a jolt of humor and a healthy dose of sass. Interestingly, Polly Holiday's off-screen endeavors during Alice's run added further dimension to her career. Holiday's presence extended beyond the small screen as she ventured into movies. Notably, she assumed antagonistic roles in two notable films, the political thriller All the President's Men in 1976 and the fantasy comedy Gremlins in 1984. This creative duality showcased Holiday's versatile acting chops and ability to seamlessly transition between different genres. As Alice unfolded on television screens, Linda Lavin's award-winning portrayal in Polly Holiday's feisty catchphrase, Kiss My Grits, became lasting symbols of a series that blended heart and humor. The show's influence on popular culture endures, and homage to a time when television offered characters and performances that left an indelible mark on the fabric of entertainment history. Unveiling the enigma of Henry's wife, the intriguing tale of Alice in 1976 in the realm of classic television, the 1976 series Alice holds an enduring place. This charming portrayal of a plucky widow navigating life as a waitress in a Phoenix, Arizona diner resonated with audiences across the nation. Yet, amidst the sizzling banter and heartwarming camaraderie, one enigmatic character remained shrouded in mystery. Henry's wife, Chloe, whispered about for years, her elusive existence finally came to light in a single appearance, embodied by the talent of Ruth Boozy. The series, derived from the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, ventured to the Sonoran Desert, locating its diner in Tucson, Arizona. However, for the television adaptation, the setting shifted northward to Phoenix. This strategic relocation enhanced the show's appeal, casting a spotlight on the vibrant city while keeping the authentic flavors of the Southwest alive. At the core of the show's essence lies the very real Pat's Family Restaurant, located at 1747 N.W. Grand Avenue, Phoenix. Known as Mel's Diner from 1976 to 1985, this establishment lent its essence to the show's bustling hub of activity. Google Earth's Ground View, a digital time capsule, preserves the name Mel's Diner, even as the establishment continues to serve patrons under its new identity. From its inception, Alice struck a chord by embracing the ordinary and weaving it into an extraordinary tapestry of laughter and life. Yet, as the years fade away, the show's legacy endures, thanks to its vivid characters, iconic diner, and the captivating tale of Chloe, brought to life in a fleeting moment by Ruth Boozy. So, as fans reminisce about the memorable world of Alice, they can't help but wonder about the storylines left untold, the laughter shared, and the magic of a Phoenix diner that etched its mark in television history. In the beloved 1976 TV series Alice, a show that brought heartwarming moments to small screens across the nation, one dish reigned supreme at Mel's Diner, Chili. The iconic eatery, the backdrop for the show's antics and camaraderie, featured a favorite dish that captured the palates and imaginations of fans. Portraying the titular Mel, he endeavored to commercialize his flavorful chili, cleverly named Chili Con Carne. This comical escapade remains etched in the annals of television history, a testament to the show's penchant for combining humor and culinary delights. The opening credits of Alice offered viewers a nostalgic glimpse into the show's essence, featuring a shot of a station wagon. This snippet, though seemingly ordinary, carried a hidden gem of trivia. 
The shot, in fact, originated from the film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, serving as a nostalgic nod to the show's cinematic precursor. This connection added a layer of depth for those who recognized the link, subtly bridging the gap between the TV series and its source material. Transitioning to the departure of Diane Ladd's character, Belle, the show managed to blend fiction and reality seamlessly. When Diane Ladd left the series, the storyline ingeniously wove her absence into the narrative tapestry. Belle's departure was attributed to a professional triumph as her musical talents garnered recognition. In the show's universe, she sold one of her songs, a pivotal moment that propelled her toward a new chapter as a professional songwriter. This graceful departure for the character, delicately grounded in her artistic journey, allowed viewers to bid farewell with a sense of closure and anticipation for Belle's future endeavors. Alice embodied the art of storytelling, showcasing both the ordinary and extraordinary in a way that resonated deeply with audiences. From the warmth of Mel's diner to the clever interplay of real-life references, the show's creators demonstrated an intricate mastery of their craft. As we reflect on the lasting impact of Alice, it's clear that the series' magic lies in its ability to turn everyday moments into enduring memories. As we bid adieu to the captivating universe of the 1976 TV series Alice, we find ourselves not only parting ways with a show but with a timeless slice of nostalgia that has carved a unique place in our hearts. The trials and triumphs of Alice, her friends, and the bustling Mel's Diner have resonated with us in profound ways, echoing the dynamics of our own lives. As we reflect upon the laughter, the tears, and the indelible moments that have colored our journey through this beloved series, we are reminded of the threads that weave our own stories. Each episode, each character, they all mirror facets of our own experiences, evoking emotions that remind us of who we are, where we've been, and where we're headed. So, I invite you, dear reader, viewer, to share your treasured memories and thoughts about Alice. Whether it's a chuckle-inducing one-liner from Flo, a poignant life lesson from Vera, or a relatable misadventure in the diner, your personal connection to the show is a testament to its enduring magic. Let your words paint a picture of the impact it has had on your life, and together, we'll celebrate the beauty of shared nostalgia. In this digital age, let's come together to commemorate the timeless charm of Alice. Your stories, your reflections, they all contribute to the vibrant tapestry of fan experiences that keep the spirit of the show alive. Thank you for taking this journey with us, for allowing the world of Alice to touch your heart as it has touched ours. May the laughter and camaraderie of Mel's Diner continue to resonate in your heart, a reminder that even in the passing of time, the memories we hold dear remain steadfast. Keep sharing your stories, keep celebrating the moments, and keep the legacy of Alice alive. Warmest regards, your name.